Hello guys, gosh that's a bit dark, there we go, is that better? Maybe. Um, we are going, we are going to Uluwatu Temple, um, for the temple itself, it's Sunday, there's also a Kesak dance uh, performance of like, I think it's like about 300 people kind of in the temple, or in the temple complex performing. Um, yeah, that should be interesting. I think it costs about 150,000 uh, for the dance and 50 for the temple. Uh, the monkeys come for free. By the way, there are loads of monkeys there. Uh, I would have actually rather have taken my bigger camera to get like some night shots and night video. But I have heard that they can like be quite devious and take cameras and things. So for now, I'm gonna do the GoPro. Maybe on another day we go back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah, for now. Safety first. I don't really use my big camera enough. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's you. Oh, mine's almost here. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, we're just about to get on a Gojek. So yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, so we're on the Gojek, on the go. Got no helmet though. There's Asher somewhere behind us. We're going this way. Okay guys, uh, we are here, well, Where's the temple? in the temple kind of complex area. Uh, we're gonna go try and find the temple. Gate, entrance gate over there. Uh, just, just have to like look out for monkeys everywhere. I am a bit, I got a bit of tra uh, monkey trauma from, uh, from, I can't remember where it was, somewhere in Thailand. Uh, Sukutai, I think, in Thailand, or hmm, somewhere where there's loads of monkeys, just north of Bangkok. Went there once, and they're all like craw, 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 uh, clawing, clawing outside my window all night long, until I left at 5 a.m. to try and escape them on the train. Uh, so yeah. Wow. I mean, just the entrance, right? Oh, what does that all say? Okay, so we're gonna try and get in. Gonna try and get in, guys. Uh, don't see too many monkeys. I've seen a few. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, people. Don't worry. Got it. We'll protect you. Okay, guys, we got in. Uh, cost like fifty thousand to get in, like I said, mm -hmm. at the um, temple. Well, at the entrance, and then you go down. I think to where the performances is. What performance is? And then you have to get your tickets as a separate thing. So that. I believe costs 150,000, but we'll find out once we get there. Um, also, look at my new, look at our new outfit. New outfits. Uh, nice purple. Yeah, purple is like a color of a um, uh, um, head chakra, so it's the most uh, spiritual chakra uh, that goes into the universe. So I'm actually really, really happy of wearing this color. I say orange would be also spiritual. That was another choice, but it's more connected to emotional life. So I think we're more connected to our th thoughts uh, through this one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So they they give you these for free. So I mean, I was wearing shorts. I mean, I think if you're wearing long trousers or like a long dress or skirt that does cover your legs. They just give you like an orange sash, so like just like a like a scarf to go around your waist. Otherwise, yeah, you're wearing the purple syrup, but all free and all available just at the door. So that's cool. Um, yeah, we get to hang out in the syrup. Now I think we're gonna go try and get a ticket here. So. So we've just got our ticket. Um, it was 150,000. Um, they do have like an official online thing. It says you can't go in there, actually. Yeah. Uh, on the left-hand side. So I just noticed, I'm just stopping Asher. Do not enter for worshiping only. So that's only for like, I guess, Hindus or like Indonesian, Balinese. Uh, not for us foreigners. Which is fine, fair enough, sacred place. Um, I understand that. And it's nice to kind of, you know, stick to that as well. Um, but yes, they had an official, um, like online ticketing thing, but it seemed to close 
or they said that there were none, no more available after like midday today, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, see, that's how I felt. Look. See that? It's exactly how I felt. Covered in monkeys, pulling them out of your hair. But they came on you? Yeah. No, in your room? No, not in my room. No, go to the temple next door. They were fine next, to, like in the temple next door. But once it got dark, then they just go crazy and they jump. They're everywhere and they're scratching, scratching to get in. People, they were. Ah, so they're scratching your door. No, like my, yeah, like a fly, like a mosquito net, net over a window. Yeah. You can see them like in the tranny, little holes. And you didn't close the door. They weren't any other thing. Oh, they kind of were. I can't remember. So long ago. But yeah, see, that's, that's how I feel internally you know, with the. The god man monkey thing resting with all the little monkeys all over him that's how i am internally at the moment <laughs> um, but yeah actually it's not not as bad as what i thought it was going to be i thought there was going to be literally monkeys everywhere um but yeah very cool yeah, such a peaceful yeah very peaceful place actually i feel like even talking to you i just drop my voice a little bit yeah, you do. <laughs> I feel like I have like a cloud of peacefulness on my mind. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, there is. Um, so yeah, there is a, uh, an official. Sorry, I got sidetracked. There is an official online uh, thing, but I, I think it closes midday of the day that you're going to go. Because um, I was a bit worried that when it closed, that there weren't any tickets left, but we just got tickets, so it's not a problem. Uh, you can just get tickets turn up on the day. I think that supposedly opens at five, but actually seems to open earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they do then say get there, or the man said to get there like 20 minutes before the, um, or try and get seated 20 minutes before the performance, which is at six. And I have read as well, like if there's loads of people, they actually put a second uh, performance on as well at seven, but they don't really let you know. So just turn up and get tickets. Now as you can see there's the temple up there. Oh, we are going to go up there in a bit. Um, it's kind of perched on the edge there. The water looks pretty amazing actually. It reminds me a bit of the um, castle we climbed up in Corfu. It was also kind of perched on the edge. Um, this actually seems safer because <laughs> it's got these big uh, walls. You can just lean on. Uh, it looks like these guys are going out fishing. You can see that, I'm not sure. See the guys going out for the nights fishing probably. Um, and wow, it's big grounds. All the way along. And all the way along here. You can see the waves crashing in. Very nice. And I guess, in, interestingly enough, you know, um, here is like the main temple bit, but obviously again, you can't, because uh, you're, or I, not a wish, but uh, you can't go in there. See, literally. And there are actually people in there uh, praying, so try not to disturb them too much. Um, again, you know, it's good to re respect their kind of Thing, their religion, their ways, and not interrupt them when they're communing with the gods. Oh wow, there's already people trying to sit down. Yeah, that's what see over there. You want to go over there? Yeah. And then see from here, you can see this is where the dance happens. Um, really nicely, like built into the side there. I think the um, performance lasts like an hour, 60 minutes. Um, yeah, so nice. I was just saying before, I mean, wow, there's a lot of people here, but I was just saying, wow, the, the waves look so nice, you know, because the only waves we've seen previous, I think from this vantage point, looking down on them crashing, but then also you look at them and they're so natural because there's no people on them. Yeah, if it was. Uluwatu or like Chengu or you know wherever 
they would be surfers on them. But here they just get to be waves. And also boats, I guess. Boats making up big waves as well. Yeah, there's boats over that way. But um, yeah, so that's the dance thing there. Uh, we're going to slowly, slowly make our way there. Uh, there is a big statue over here. Uh, there are, there are a few like little, smaller temples around. And um, there's this guy here. You may be able to see. Um, but I'm not sure who he is. I don't have the map on me. Uh, if I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, I'll probably put it down below. But yeah, we're going to head to the performance. Such a shame I didn't bring my big camera. But yeah, it's perfectly, um, oh, perfectly safe, I would say, to bring your cameras. I just read online, you know, that sometimes the, um, sometimes the, well, the monkeys have kind of learnt to take important items like cameras and like glasses or like electronics and other things because then they know that they can kind of barter them for food. I just read that, you know, rather than taking like some old hat that you probably just want, don't want back. They now know like, you know, there's things that humans actually want back, i.e. cameras, um, that they'll take to barter for food. Interesting. We found loads of monkeys around. There's one there, and there, and all there, and all there, all there, all there. They seem to be quite chilled though, for now. I don't know. Oh no! Uh oh, someone's glasses just got taken. <laughs> okay, so they are cheeky monkeys. Yeah, there's loads. <laughs> one of them, this sure guy was just sitting here. And he took the glasses, like, I don't know how, because they were folded up. Folded where? It wasn't like they were on his head. Why was it? So the guy was just sitting here, and then the monkey came behind him, took his glasses. Yeah, but where was the glasses? I don't know, I didn't see that bit. I just saw him running away with them. <laughs> but yes, okay, so they do, I witnessed, I witnessed it. And they do actually take things away. Look at them all. Oh, and up there. There's a little chicken. Uh, So yeah, I'd say, um, you know, if you're around here, just hold on to your things. Like I, I did see, um, like if you can get, or like kind of get them quick enough, get them quick enough, um, you can do like an exchange, huh? They're all up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so do watch your stuff, I guess. Because <coughs> they may try and take things. Oh, here as well. Oh. This one seems a bit scared. But there are people kind of like uh, watching and helping. But yeah, they do seem to be kind of uh, monkey tamers, if you like. Not monkey tamers, but monkey conductors that kind of do keep them in line, more or less. I noticed they do have slingshots, but I've never seen one use them. Uh, it's more just to kind of scare them away, I think. I did notice when someone's glasses was, were taken, uh, they tried to throw them a banana as an exchange, but the monkey had already gone, and actually one of the other monkeys picked up the banana. So, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite interesting the way that the kind of monkey men kind of deal with them, where they're kind of making these strange noises and like hissing noises and stuff just to kind of drive them away. They're so cute. What? They're the cutest ever. The little ones are so tiny, but all of them are just kind of full of character. <laughs> 
and I like the grandpa monkeys a lot and then the babies are hanging like my backpack underneath uh, the monkey mama <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean they're cute until some, until they steal something from me basically you just have to be careful well, you do have to be careful yeah 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 I mean that guy that I saw with the glasses he was just sitting down he just been to the toilet sat down waiting for his friend I think, I don't know, he had it maybe in his hand and they took it out of his hand? Not sure, not sure how they got it from him. But they're cheeky and came up behind him, definitely. So yeah, just watch yourselves, I guess. Um, it's okay. Yeah, no, they were, they were fine. They're quite tame, actually. Like the ones in Thailand, they like are on you. Yeah, in Gibraltar, they're a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, 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 yeah a lot more. Well, also I've noticed, I've noticed here they say do not feed the monkeys. Yeah. Whereas in Thailand they actually sell you food to feed the monkeys. Yeah. Some people have peanuts with them. Yeah, well she brought peanuts. I said don't do that, but whatever. Uh, but, um, yeah, obviously it's a bit like, you know, the birds or something that's, that are in... Um, sorry, that dog has a random hamburger. I don't know how he got that. Um, uh, yeah, it's a bit like the yeah the birds in Green Park. People feeding those. And once you feed them too much, they obviously expect it. So I believe that's why they say don't feed the monkeys because otherwise they'll just see humans and associate them with food. Anyway, we're going to a dance, 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 dance. Really nice view here. As you can see over there, look how amazing it is. And then we're going to have the, um, the performance in here. And I think it's actually going to, the sets, the uh, sun's even going to set just directly behind it actually. It'll be really nice. Okay guys, so we've got our seat, which is kind of stage right. Um, yeah, as you can tell or see, this is kind of like an amphitheater, like a semicircle. Uh, and as you can also see, most people are wearing sarongs or they're wearing like these orange ties as well. Um, yeah, so cool. Performance will happen and then the sun will kind of set behind it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I won't film or at least I won't talk. That's the, that's the, the steps. Uh, I think I'll just film this a little bit and then I'll or at least talk for this little bit and then I'll film and then talk after. So see you after the show. Okay guys, so that was, what's it called? Ketchup. The Ketchup dance uh, in Uluwatu Temple. And we've just stopped, uh, hang on. We've just stopped uh, at this place, like a waterang, Minrita, which is kind of on the grounds of the temple. Uh, we just saw, we'd stopped here, we were hungry, and 
there will be a lot of people trying to get Gojeks right now. So we thought we might just let them get their Gojeks and we can have some food. Uh, and what did we get? We got a thing. Temuloak. Temuloak. Our favorite Temuloak from Ibu. Well, it's not from, this one's not from Ibu. This one's from the fridge just here. But um, we first had it when uh, Ibu, who is our kind of host in Banyuwangi, um, her sister gave us, or well, she gave us some that her sister made. Uh, I haven't actually tried it yet. Oh my god, I'm like halfway to Baltimore. Whoa. Yeah, it kind of tastes like like sarsaparilla, I would say. But sarsaparilla it's a bit. Less, um, this one is less spicy, more um, sweet. More sugar, yeah. Well, the Definitely. one we've had before was that. Like you would have a, a spicy lemonade, super cool, really good. Yeah, well this one's like, you know, manufactured, this is like labeled and everything. Like the other one I don't think was, maybe it did have a label. I did have a label on it, yeah. It had a label, but I it, took pictures to make it by other Yeah, but it didn't seem quite as like mass produced perhaps as this one could oh, be. that one was by my sister, homemade. Yeah. yeah. So you know, it's kind of maybe more, yeah, like a homemade, although this is bintang on it. So it's like, yeah. I think they've repurposed the uh, box. Where's Bintang? On the glass. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mine is it? Yours doesn't. No, mine is original. <laughs> Maybe yours was a. Okay. Something else bottle. What? Maybe yours was a something else bottle. Okay, so now, yeah. We're, what have I ordered? I don't know. I ordered something. I ordered uh, a yam korang. I think it comes with rice. She did point at the lalapan, so I guess that's what that was. Although it doesn't say lalapan on here, but I think that's what I'm getting. And you're getting... I wanted to get kare ayam, mm. which was something new. It's chicken in yellow coconut sauce. Potato carrot sounds amazing. But they didn't have it anymore, so I, I took sayur hiju, hijau, sayur hijau. And it's a stir fry choice of chicken egg prone or chicken sausage so i took chicken i think i can't remember i don't think you chose you didn't choose no i didn't we'll see so yeah i should got it with rice and with chicken yes yeah yes okay so i filmed a little bit on my iphone uh sorry about the low light terribleness that um those videos probably were uh, really should have brought my big camera with me, but oh well. These scene guys have one. these guys have massive cameras. Look at him. Okay, scene one. But what's so? Scene one. So what's the what's the story of the bub kind of? Not the whole thing. Don't read the whole thing. Just a general. It I, was that um, the stepmother. Oh yeah. Um, did a little trick and sent um, Rama away with uh, Sinta. And he, the Rama's brother, uh, Laksamana. And then um, they met a white monkey, they met a red monkey, and then they met the um, Bhagawan, which was actually that stepmother, Rawana, dressed up as an old man. And then uh, there was Hanuman as well. Hanuman's a monkey. Uh, Hanuman is a red monkey. Okay. So yeah, they conquered the the king. The white monkey and the red monkey conquered the king. And then got the Sinta back. Because uh, Rawana uh, kidnapped the Sinto, Sinta. Uh, that's pretty much the story, <laughs> I would say. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess what? Uh, wicked stepmother tries to get the stepdaughter kidnapped um, and then the monkeys save her. Yeah. That's kind of the story. Yeah. Generally speaking. They, they went to Dandaka Forest. Dandaka Forest, yes. And there was a bird as well. There's a bird god. Gorada. Garuda. Garuda. Who's actually the um, on the statue in kind of Jimbaran or between Jimbaran and Uluwatu, uh, where who is Rama is sitting on top of. 
I think. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe any Indonesians watching, if there are any, um, please comment down below as to, or maybe you know, put us right because that was like a general abridged version. Um, we were actually saying just before uh, the performance that it'd be really good to get like a <clears throat> a book of like Hindu slash Balinese Hindu. Uh, mythology. That, I mean, I read a lot of uh, like Greek mythology, and I've actually, you know, I'm reading a Greek mythology book at the moment. But it'd be really good to get one that kind of relates to where I am, I guess. I.e., Balinese Hinduism. Um, and yeah, there's like, well, if it had pictures, that'd be really great. If you could maybe recommend one down in the comments as well for me and Asha and all the other viewers, uh, that'd be really good. Just to get like a general overview of, you know, the top 10 or maybe more Hindu gods. I mean, I know there's like thousands of them. I think there's like 10,000 gods, isn't there? Something like that. Anyway. Uh, so Laksama was the younger brother of Rama who assisted him in, in, in the forest. And then Laksama's wife was Devi Sinta. That makes sense. Though. Apparently that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Uh, oh, food's here, it looks. Ooh, okay, our food has arrived. Eating it. She couldn't wait, she was that hungry. Uh oh. Uh huh. Okay. Might be monkeys on the roof, so I think we've got to eat this quick. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I got uh, a yam goreng, so that's um, like fried chicken and like a nice chili sauce there with some rice. Ooh, spicy. A uh, bit, bit hard with one hand, but let's give it a go. This is just the chicken by itself. Looks nice and tender, well cooked. Very good. Definitely needs some spice though. Very good. And yours? Um, mine is like chicken cooked with um, spinach. And a very nice sauce. Mm. It's like a soup, really. Salty. A bit spicy, but my type of spicy. Um, salty. Spicy. Not too spicy, my type of spicy. Mm. And like broth. Like I was dreaming about this. So, yeah. yeah. And what sort of vegetables you got in there? Or what you got in there? Um, just spinach, I think. Spinach? Um, chicken. Cool, okay. We're gonna eat this. Um, we're gonna look out for monkeys. I can see one over there. Obviously, if they can smell food, they'll uh, be over here pretty quick. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna stop talking to you. I'm gonna hide the camera. And gonna eat the food. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're left. We left the... Uh, Place back there. Yeah, maybe at the, from here. You can see it. Yeah. I don't think so. Um, and now we're going this way. What's this way, you ask? Well, Martha yeah. back. <laughs> Not Martha back. But we have to go to kind of the entrance to be able to try and get a gojek. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh oh. Uh, quick right away. Quick right away. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get one. This is kind of the first time we've actually done the thing. So you kind of have to go to the entrance and pass like the, the car park in order to get past the mafia. Past like the, the, tax, the taxi drivers and stuff, basically. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna attempt that. Wish us luck. Shall I let you know how it goes. Oh, monkey, right ahead of you. No, right there. 
and there's monkeys everywhere. Gotta be careful, there's another one. Another monkey there. <coughs> Bye, monkey! Oh. Okay, okay. Okay guys, so, uh, what happened? Oh uh, yes, um, so we walked out of the place to try and get a Gojek. No Gojeks came, uh, then no more Gojeks came, then some grabs came, well they didn't come. <sighs> sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I think like out there, I mean it's not far from here either, you know, but we're just a little bit too far away. And it's dark for like people to be around there, I guess. I think probably during the day, like it would be all right to like try and get uh, Gojex from from there. Um, and I also think because we kind of waited back uh, and had food, um, like everybody else got the Gojex basically. So we were kind of waiting for them to come back. Maybe they were never going to come back. But we made a friend with a Dutch uh, lady um, she was kind of going a bit further than us so we hopped in with her um, paid like a a non application so like a, a normal just taxi driver guy and that cost I mean I'm not sure how far she was going but in total like it was going to be like 80,000 we ended up we paid 50 and she paid 30 uh, to get here and originally, so on the scooter uh, there, it was 11 and 11 each. Um, and on like Gojek, it would have been, if we had just come back in, in a Gojek car, it would have been about 20 to 22,000 ish. So, you know, probably like, you know, double the price of a Gojek. But we, again, it started raining. We were standing in the rain again. The rain. The rain keeps happening. And we helped uh, another girl, so sometimes teamwork is important. So help each other, tourists. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Well, no, exactly. I mean, I think as tourists, you know, you're so like, sometimes you're so closed off to kind of even talking to each other because, you know, you walk around, there's so many of us, you kind of want to just live your own adventure or live your own dream, whatever it is, you know, the whole point. And, kind of coming to places like this is to escape people like yourself I don't know anyway she was from Holland um, we are not but you know you're Europeans I guess I'm kind of European um, anyway yes she had ordered something it cancelled etc etc we couldn't get anything so we hopped in a, a real taxi real taxi like a non-application taxi and he got us here. And we only got, well, I only got a little bit wet. Asha had some foresight and actually brought her plastic. Fine, I wasn't intending to get wet again. But we did a little bit, but we got here. So we're here. Uh, that's about it. Um, I think I'm gonna try and order a martaback. If you don't know what a martaback is, I think I put it in a video, but I can't remember. Maybe I didn't. If you haven't tried a martaback, go try a martaback. <laughs> it's like a amazing chocolatey, well you can get like different kinds, but like amazing chocolatey, like puff, massive pancake thing, too much chocolate and everything. But we're gonna try and order one on Gojek and get it here. Let's see what we can do. Uh, it's a Sunday night. And I think we still want some sweet stuff. So. We'll get some sweet stuff, and you will get the end of the video. So, that'll do. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, yeah. You know, if you're not a subscriber, why don't you think about subscribing? Um, you know, like and share and comment and, um, you know, tell us more about the, um, uh, the thing maybe we just watched or like you know the I, I really like to hear more about like Hindu or Balinese Hindu kind of mythology that'd be really great so just someone's coming across a bridge shouting uh, that'll probably do I guess because I'm just rambling now so I'll leave you to it do continue to follow I think like 
tomorrow for me at least like I'm just having a big break from vlogging I need to rest I, well, I need to do so many edits it's not even funny um, so yeah that'll be me tomorrow so you won't see any of that you'll just see videos coming at you all the time yes because that's what we do here okay guys we'll see you on the next one and until then keep on keep drifting keep on drifting <laughs>